Hi friends, my name is Farmer's Market today. I haven't talked about this in a while. I haven't talked about skincare, skin face stuff that much. I used to do like a ready with me's. I used to do a lot of just skincare routines, but mainly that's all for the second channel now. But I wanted to come on here today and talk about the things I use for acne and talk about the truth about influencer skin and my opinion on being transparent and the fact that a lot of this is fake. If you don't keep up with me, uh, I've been going through some acne issues. Obviously, it could be for many reasons. Uh, one, for wearing masks and the fabric just rubs on your skin wrong. Weather changing in general, it's getting much more colder. So my skin tends to be more dry, which doesn't work when you're wearing a mask and it rubs on it. Stress, college stress, life stress, stressing about acne only to produce more acne. A lot of factors. Also, um, the fact that I am a hormonal teenager, so it's bound to happen. I feel like a lot of content creators are like ashamed to talk about it or they get ridiculed for just having acne in general because it's one side they're always clear on instagram it's always clear skin and then in a video if it gets up close suddenly it's not that clear and i want to talk about that because i still see some comments saying oh my god you have such clear skin i wish i could have your skin on my latest videos and i just don't i'm just like what here, let me turn off this light. This is just natural lighting right now. Maybe your expectations are different, but I don't think I have clear skin. I really don't. It's not something to be ashamed about, obviously. I just don't want to add to the idea of people being insecure about their skin because they see my skin on camera, even though from back here, it's much more clear because that's just how a camera works. There is no blurring filter. It's just the farther away you are from a camera, the more clear your skin is going to be no matter what. So let's talk about some products that I've been using, but first, we got a sponsor. Hello. I believe, thank you for sponsoring me again. I've been sponsored by them once and they really like me and I obviously enjoy their products. So they wanted to do it again. And I thought this would be fitting because it's been a product I've been using to help with my skin. Not in terms of clearing acne. It's not about that. It's just in terms of moisture. So Belief is a Korean skincare brand and they center their products around being truthful to the ingredients. They like to be transparent about what's inside and they combine herbal traditions with modern skin science in order to provide the best stuff for your skin. They asked me what I want to talk about and I chose the Belief Moisturizing Balm. It's really hydrating. It's clinically proven to retain moisture for up to 26 hours and it's dermatologist tested. And I use it just because it's getting cold. To anyone out there, listen up, okay? Listen up, girls, gays, and days. Come to Mother Frederick. If you have dry skin or you have acne prone skin and you're using acne medication or treatments and it tends to chap, your skin tends to flake off. This is what's saving me in terms of that because my skin, even though it's oily, still gets very dry during the winter just because it's prone to being sensitive to the weather and also because it's always on medication. So by keeping it hydrated and moisturized, you're not gonna get that flakiness and it's not gonna get inflamed. And that's why you see a lot of redness because I'm still using a lot of medication, but I use this morning and night every day in order to maintain that so my skin doesn't completely peel off. So thank you, Belief, for sponsoring me again, but that does not help clear my acne, literally. These are the things I've been using. And I know you all who have acne probably go through this thing where it's like you try everything because you hope that one of them will work. Let me tell you, I'm going through that right now. And let me tell you what is going to work and what isn't. And maybe you'll feel less crazy when you see how crazy I can be. I just want you guys to feel more normal about having acne because it's not something to be ashamed about. I don't want to be marketed as the guy with clear skin because it's not true. It's just that when I tend to have acne, I take pictures more farther away or I just post less on Instagram and I just film farther away because I get insecure too. It's a normal thing and I don't want anyone to make fun of my acne, so that's why I'm making this video now, so no one can. As long as I admit it, no one else can talk shit about it. Let's start with the most dramatic thing I've done, I'd say. Not dramatic in terms of like tea, but the biggest step I've took to try to fix my acne. So I went to a dermatologist, mainly because I did not know that it could be covered by insurance. If you don't know what that means, you're gonna have to ask your parents about it because I had to. I'm still learning about it, but basically, I went there, only had to pay a little bit for the products because of a copay, because insurance covered most of it. And I just thought, well, if it's pretty affordable for me, since it's mainly covered and they're professionals, they can tell me what I need because I could not figure out what I needed beforehand. This happened like two weeks ago. They gave me a night treatment, a benzoyl peroxide wash, and some medication to take every day before bed, and it's supposed to stop the bacteria that can cause acne on your face. I've only been doing it for a week, so I don't really know what to expect yet, but I also had four cystic acne things going into it, and they injected me with some fluid, not filler or anything. It's just like something to treat acne, and four hours later, the cystic acne just went away, and I was like, oh my god, that's a miracle. Can I just buy that thing? Not allowed to. Can't do that. So, 
sad about that. But I want to see if this helps because I realized that in the past few months when my acne started flaring up, this is what it looked like a few weeks ago. I say a month ago. It's better now. It's mainly scars and just redness. So that's a good thing. But it started flaring up more and more because I kept adding more and more products into my regime. I've never used that word. Ew. So like I had an acne face wash before. Then I had these treatment pads. They're basically just toner and the cotton pad together. This has salicylic acid and this has glycolic acid and they're just meant to exfoliate. And I just used so many things that I just made my acne worse because it made it so sensitive that it started to burn when I put straight up moisturizer on. Like just Vaseline made my skin burn. And that's something I want you guys to just try to understand. The more products you add, the worse it will get. So I step back, I'm only using what my dermatologist provided me, plus sunscreen, plus a moisturizer, because the stuff can be drying. And I even sometimes take a break from the wash just because benzoyl peroxide is known to dry your skin out. I had these derma rollers. They're meant to prick your skin to make it think that it's damaged so that it recovers faster. They work. They work great for scars. I still recommend them to this day. But this on top of exfoliating pads just made it so much worse. So do one or the other and do it like once a week max. Look at this, some more toners that I bought just because of how much I thought that salicylic acid could just be the one and I'll be all for my acne. I don't even have these collagen pills. And once again, I'm not recommending any medication because I don't want to do that to a young audience. I do recommend a dermatologist though, because they are licensed to do that. <laughs> but this was like, why did I buy it? It's meant for hair, skin, and nails. And there's no reason for me to do this. We all know and love her. Benzoyl peroxide 10% treatment. So like picture all of that, just like combined at some point. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. It's not a good thing to do. But I kept doing it just because I was so focused on getting clearer skin and I wanted to be able to show my skin on camera and not be so insecure about it. Cause I felt the expectations of, oh, Frederick always has clear skin. He never has acne. Like why would he ever have bad acne? So it makes me feel a little self-conscious sometimes when, because no, this is none of you guys doing it, by the way. It's all in my head. I felt like other people wanted me to have clear skin on camera. So it made me less confident and just self-conscious and it just put more stress. On top of everything else that's been going on in my life, this was just another additive. And now I kind of just don't care because uh, I'm done thinking about like having clear skin. I don't want you guys to think I have clear skin. I don't want you to think you have to have clear skin to be attractive because that's not true. I was so insecure about just dating because I thought, well, the pictures I'm showing on my profile don't really match my skin right now. My boyfriend's gonna judge me and he hasn't. He always tells me he will never judge me. And it just, as much as I like say, oh bullshit, he means it and I really appreciate that from him. So I want to tell you guys, it's okay to not have clear skin. It's okay to have clear skin too. I will be forever jealous of people who can just use set a fill and get away with it. I just know that watching influencers who always have clear skin can be tiring because I do that. And then I also get insecure, especially on TikTok when everyone just shows you their skin and you're just like, I did not want that on my For You page, get it away. That's why I don't go on TikTok that much either. I hope that me being on camera makes you feel better if you happen to have acne scars or any acne in general or just redness. I want you guys to know that I, I always want to be transparent with you. I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to lie to you about stuff. Obviously, sometimes I won't talk about it if I'm not comfortable yet, but now I'm comfortable to talk about it. So I will tell you. Thank you guys for respecting my privacy and like not just saying, oh my God, why, is, why does he have an acne mark there? Because some people get that. And I just don't know why we've turned to telling other influencers their skin is bad. We all know our skin. You know when your skin is bad. You do not need an unsolicited comment from someone else telling you your skin is bad. It just makes it worse. So if you're one of those people who like comments on other people's profiles, oh, you have an acne scar there. They can just go offline. I hope you know that. They can just have a bad day for the rest of the week and they won't post. And then that's on you because you made them feel insecure. So I'm primarily making this video to say, I don't have clear skin getting out there. I don't want you guys to think I have clear skin. I don't want you to think you have to have it because it's going to go up and down. I know I've had clear skin. Like there is a comparison here that I see and I'm well aware of it. So I know I can get it back. My hair is gone. I know I can get that back. It'll just take some time and you have to be patient. And I used to be very impatient, but now I'm trying to just I've mainly given up. That's why I'm more patient. I just give up on trying to get clear skin, but I know I'll get there again, hopefully someday. I just have to not stress about it so much. Oh, I almost forgot. Some brand sent me this. It's a blue light and red light treatment. This is when you know I've reached rock bottom in terms of 
trying to get clear skin because sometimes it's just impossible. It's called hormones. It's called stress acne. It's called cystic acne for a reason. They just come and go. Your diet matters too. Your exercise matters, the amount of water you drink. Dairy, meat can be bad for you if you are prone to breaking out from eating those. And even though Hiram, I talked to him, he says this works, I just thought like, do I really need this? As a college student, do I really need this as a thing? No, and you don't either. I know a lot of you guys are younger. You don't need all the stuff that everyone tries to market. You just need the basics. Just try some acne washes, go to a dermatologist. They know their stuff most of the time. Make sure you find ones with good reviews. If you have insurance, it could probably pay for most of it. And at the end of the day, don't feel like you need every single product in the world because that's not gonna help you. I have too many products for one human to have and I still have acne. What does that say? You don't need 80 exfoliating things because I have all of those. I have like five more toners that are exfoliating. That's it. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more videos every week. I post whenever I can. So make sure you have the notifications on. Follow my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, my second channel for skincare, gaming channel, and podcast channel. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three.